First of all, let me tell you that I am a very proud Chennaiite. I have been here for the past uh, 32 years, basically from Hyderabad. But this is the city I have learned to live and love. Uh, Chennai is the fastest growing city, but, but I don't know whether we are prepared for it. Frankly speaking, I would like to be a good citizen of uh, Chennai, but lots of things do not allow us to be that. Um, we do have our restrictions even on a personal level and uh, I think for that we really require a lot of government laws uh, to open up so that things are much more free for even people like me to do as, as a citizen. Infrastructure wise, I don't know, I, th I think we have just started. Uh, I don't know how soon we are going to be geared up for it. Some things uh, which start off on a grand note seem to be taking forever to be completed. Uh, the new governments come in and the old government, whatever rules they make are vetoed on. So this is the, this is the, this is the scenario where uh, I think uh, things take a longer time in Chennai. Chennai as it is a beautiful city, we have got a lovely, lovely beaches. This I don't think any other city down south uh, can boast of. But, uh, but the facilities to showcase that we have are extremely, extremely limited. Speaking from the hospitality point of view, I am sure uh, all my contemporaries down south would agree. Law does not permit us to do uh, what we really would like to do to showcase uh, the beautiful facilities that we have. For example, um, the beach could have many more activities, you know, because everyone loves, loves water sports. But again, you have the restriction on the law which says, you know, you, you can't, you can't do that. Um, as far as safety goes, I think it's Chennai is one of the safest cities for any, any kind of a traveler. So, I am really proud of that. I think uh, the authorities there are doing a very, very good job on that. So, any time of the day or night, uh, I am also confident whenever my girls go out that, you know, they can come home any time of the evening because I am sure they will be safe. Traffic regulations can be definitely better. Um, and of course, the public transport I think is one of the best that uh, Chennai can boast of. Uh, for the tourists, yes, I think we require m many more guidelines to attract them into the city. And for that, I think the law has to be much more liberal. For exam example, if you travel across the world, there are no restrictions on the nightlife, whereas that is a major restriction that Chennai faces always, thanks to the laws on prohibition and moral policing and other things. So, that stops a traveler from, at least an international traveler from spending too much time in Chennai. I think the topmost thing that hits you when you enter Chennai, even from the airport onwards, I think it is the, it is the unclean, unclean environment that we find at Chennai. I, I think uh, we are still not yet there. We can, we can really work on a cleanliness and a civic sense. Uh, you come back to the city after a lot of travel and then you find you find disappointment because nothing seems to have changed even at the airport level. Uh, starting from the smell of the toilets and uh, that the basic thing. And, and of course, once you come onto the road, there is so much of litter. I do not know where all the drives on against plastic and all these are driving us. I do not think nothing much is happening there. We need lots more even garbage cans across the city, I think, which is also missing. Uh, that, that is the basic thing I think uh, we need to be really working on and many more awareness drives even for the citizens to, uh, to tell us that we can be cleaner. I think with the metro rail coming up, I think there is a lot of hope in the city because then the traffic congestion will definitely be drastically reduced. Hopefully, it is going to be uh, finished on time so that we do not have to face this uh, problem on the roads for too long. And uh, I think also the laws on uh, drunken driving and all that can be little more uh, severe because then the accidents on the road will also come down because I, I personally find there is a lax on it on some of the roads which are uh, important uh, tourist uh, places on the roads also. Uh, another thing is uh, infrastructure wise, uh, if you really need to reduce the congestion, I think we need to also improve the roads, especially, especially when the rainy season comes along. I mean, the number of potholes are tremendous. I wish someone would just have a look at it as soon as the drains uh, are over because that is another case, uh, another place where you know you have a lot of uh, accident cases happening because of all the potholes. So, we need to improve the roads, 
we need to improve the traffic and we need to improve the traffic, uh, the civic sense in the city. Chennai is a city I love. I love it because of the kind of people who live here, because of the humility and the simplicity of, of even the, the most wealthiest people who live here. And, uh, and I think most of us have our traditions intact apart from uh, whatever we are doing otherwise, but you know at one level all the traditional things are intact. These are things that we need to showcase even to the world, you know, because uh, I think we are proud of them, I think we need to showcase them better. Uh, for that, I think, like I said earlier, we need a lot of help from the, the law makers in the city to make things easier so that we make it a tourist friendly place as well as to shake showcase our products uh, properly. For example, uh, we have always uh, thought that why is it that we do not even have a sound and light show at a beautiful place like Mahabalipuram. I mean these are such simple things that we can think about because every city has a sound and light show. Uh, Hyderabad has it, Delhi has it and all the dip, uh, important ports in the country has it. Why not Chennai? I think where we really need to start is I think uh, the leadership is where it really matters the most. If we have uh, the people who think right, who really want to make the difference in the city, I think everything is in their hands. They have got the power, they have got the money and you know there is nothing that is going to limit them. So can, can we have the right people governing us? That's the only thing uh, that's going to really change the face of the city.